welcome on the boat. This brings together Bangladeshi and Dutch water experts and I hope today we will be mingling and chatting with each other on water management issues in Bangladesh where we are each other's partners and where we can help each other forward in the implementation especially of the Bangladeshi Delta Plan. Bangladesh and Netherlands have been working in the field of water management since 50 years of liberation of the country. We're both uh, Delta countries located at the uh, coastline and we both face challenges in terms of climate change, rising sea levels, rising temperatures, uh, changing of rainfall patterns. In the Netherlands we have a Delta plan and a Delta program and also Bangladesh has developed a Delta plan and this plan was developed with the support of experts from the Netherlands in which we also try to exchange the lessons learned between the other Delta countries. What is Bangladesh Delta Plan? It's a long-term plan. We can call it techno-economic plan to handle climate change adverse impact in the country. It is water-centric plan, particularly to ensure water security, water supply for human consumption, water use for you know, our natural setting, and for agriculture. This is a great experience to have this trip on this river in Bangladesh and see with your own eyes. Uh, well, uh, all the embankments, the riverside, it's not managed very well, I think. And I see the pollution in the water and all the people that are dependent on this water. So I think there's, you have huge challenges. And, um, well, I must think of my work at the water board in the Netherlands and uh, how we have used the instruments um, in the Netherlands to manage the river and to enforce well companies uh, not to pollute the river. And uh, in the Netherlands we have a river at a maximum of 17,000 cubes per second. That's our worst case uh, discharge. And in this country in Bangladesh it's 10 times larger, so 170,000 cubes of discharge. Uh, I cannot imagine what challenges that uh, will bring for the government. As a kid, when I was born, it was almost two decades after our great flooding in 1953. But it was still part of our daily lives. Like, this happened, a lot of people died, and we changed our economy to prevent our country against this flooding. Bangladesh now has a great planning to do the same and to become more resilient and to cope uh, with climate change, to adapt to the rising sea levels, to solve intrusion. This will be an enormous improvement for the lives of peoples in Bangladesh and the Netherlands has a great chance to work alongside with Bangladesh to make that happen. And that I think is an opportunity we cannot miss. There is a big scope for Dutch companies because they have gained long experiences in their own countries. Not only by dressing services, not selling uh, equipments, machineries. They can come here to establish agro-processing in these countries. They can help us in modernizing our agriculture sector. I hope they have business, big business opportunity in Bangladesh. And we both will be benefited with cooperation. There's a lot of projects that need implementation, ranging from dredging and integrated water management in cities to coastal management uh, to char development. We will be working on this together with Bangladesh in the coming years. There's a lot of opportunity um, for companies to contribute and also, for example, for capacity building. We're the best uh, and safe delta of the world, so we can exchange, exchange information, give guidance, and to um, assist in building the institutional framework that's necessary to implement the Delta Plan of Bangladesh. As we are at the end of this boat trip, I look very much forward to the much bigger boat trip that is coming up in the coming 10 years. The implementation of all our plans and all our programs in the bilateral relationship between the Netherlands and Bangladesh and with the international community at large. I really look forward to be part of that. I think it's a good team. I really think we will have success.